Here we have 282,493. And we need to round this number to the nearest 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and 100,000. Now when we're rounding, it's really important that we know the place value of each digit. So starting on the right, we have our ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands and hundred thousands. Now to round to the nearest ten, we need to find the tens place value and then look to the right. So what I like to do is circle the place value that we're rounding to and then underline the digit to the right. And that's because the digit to the right decides whether we're going to round up or down. So here we've circled our tens, but in our ones we have a three. Now if the digit is four or less, we round down. So here we're rounding down, and that means this nine in our tens is going to stay a nine. Digits to the left of the place value that we're rounding to always stay the same, and digits to the right turn into zeros. So we have 282,490. Now to round to the nearest hundred, we find our hundreds place value and look to our tens. We have a nine, and if we have five or more, that means that we need to round up. So the four that's in our hundreds is going to become a five. Remember, when we round to down, the digit stays the same, but when we round up, we add one to what we've circled. So because this four turns into a five, and digits to the left stay the same, and digits to the right turn into zeros, we have 282,500. To round to the nearest thousand, we find our thousands digit and look at our hundreds. We have a four, and remember, if we have four or less, we round down. That means the two in our thousands is going to stay a two. Digits to the left stay the same, so we have 282,000. To the nearest 10,000, we can circle our 10,000s digit and underline our thousands, so underline the digit to the right. We have two in our thousands, and that means we're going to round down. This eight will stay the same, and digits to the left always stay the same, so we have 280,000. So now, let's round to the nearest 100,000. We can circle our 100,000s digit, and because we have an 8 in our 10,000s, we're rounding up. That means the 2 becomes a 3, to give us 300,000 as our answer. Now, let's round 391,295. To round to the nearest 10, we can find our 10s and look at our 1s. We have a 5, and remember, if we have 5 or more, we're going to round up. But we can only have one digit in each place value, and we already have a 9 in our 10s. Now what we need to do when this happens is circle the place value to the left as well, so circle our 100s digit and our 10s digit. So remember, rounding up, we have one more in what we've circled, and one more than 29 is 30. So we're going to replace the 2 and the 9 with a 3 and a 0, because that's 30. Digits to the left stay the same, so that gives us 391,300. Now to the nearest 100, we find the place value and underline the digit to the right. We have a 9, so we're going to round up. That means the 2 becomes a 3, digits to the left stay the same, so we have 391,300. So sometimes rounding to different place values can give us the same number. To the nearest thousand, we find our thousands digit and underline our hundreds. We have a 2, so we're rounding down. The 1 stays the same, so we have 391,000. To the nearest 10,000, we circle the 10,000s digit and underline the digit to the right. We have a 1, which means we're rounding down. So the 9 stays a 9. This 3 is to the left, so stays a 3. 
and that means we have 390,000, because digits to the right of what we've circled turn into zeros. So now, to the nearest 100,000, we look at our 10,000s. We have a 9, which means we're rounding up. So this 3 becomes a 4 to give us 400,000. Now, we have 302,401. To round to the nearest 10, we find the place value and look to the right. We have a 1, so we're rounding down. That means the zero that's in our tens stays at zero, digits to the left stay the same, and digits to the right turn into zeros, so we have 302,400. Now to the nearest hundred, we find our hundreds place, and we have a zero in our tens, so we're rounding down. That means the four stays the same, so we have 302,400. To the nearest thousand, we find our thousands place, and because we have a four in our hundreds, we're rounding down. So the two stays the same, which means we have 302,000. To the nearest 10,000, we find the place value, look to the right. We're rounding down, so the zero stays the same. Digits to the left stay the same, so we have 300,000. And finally, to the nearest 100,000, we can find our hundred thousands place, and again, we can see that we're rounding down. So that's 300,000 as well.